Hello, thank you for coming to join this video. I haven't uploaded all week because of personal reasons, and I've also been working really hard on the two builds that you'll see in this video. So, without further ado, don't forget to like, subscribe, maybe drop a comment down below on what I should do next, and roll intro! Hi, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I have worked very hard on bringing you some very cool designs. If this shall load. So, here we have my greenhouse. It has been abandoned. Let's do slash time set night to give it the best vibe. And voila. The inspiration I took from this is from Green's barge thing that's Victorian. And I've taken his glass. I'm going for a lot of glass, but I've also gone for the biggest tree that I've built so far. And greenhouses are really good because they can be both functional and just very great to look at. So, for example, we have trees here and the supports. All the lanterns give it a bit of light so mobs don't spawn, but it also just brings in the theme. The other thing you want to do is that with this, it's really big roof. So we need to sort of space it out and give it more shapes, like these curves and this outcrop here, and make sure it has lots of windows. These make it look so much better, and don't be afraid to let your plants grow. Look at this tree. It is huge. I took inspiration from that one, by the way. And let the vines grow wherever they want. This is good. Another thing that I'd like to show you is roots. These are allowed to grow outside. They get big, so you need to let the roots get big. My method is that if you're building a tree, let's say seven high, your roots must be at least three to four blocks out. At least half. Now, thank you for listening to this one. Let's move on to the next one, which is... If I can call this, is my castle. This took ages to build, as yes, it's a perfect circle, and I had to make this functioning too. So we have a bit of a modern tower up here with some roofing, lots of cupboards. As you can see, I've taken inspiration from the Oak Mansion, chest, sorry, double bed for the commander or captain. I forgot what they were called in medieval times. Enchantments, because every soldier needs magic in medieval times, and lots and lots of food. This is very important, as this place houses 16 people. They always need warmth, because it's cold in medieval times somehow. And pathways. These are very important. I've used water in the towers, and I'm not sure. This seems to fit nicely. And we have the main barracks. Here we have a bed and a chest for each person. Each is equipped with chainmail armor, diamond helmet, and an iron sword. Here we have more mini shelters. Everything they'll need to make themselves at home. And eat, I guess. And this is also the main entrance. I'm just getting used to this cinematic camera thing. Here they have some archery things that they can practice their aim on. And I guess they can also just walk up to them and get them if they want to try and do some practice. I haven't figured out what that's going to be yet. Another thing is, it's pretty much the same as normal build. Add the stairs in, makes it a bit more depth, and here it's gone for a different tactic. Instead of fences or slabs or blocks or stairs, I've gone with track doors. They're thinner, which maximizes space on small scale builds such as this, or the tower specifically, and they also look kind of nice too. They're also functioning in that you can open and close them to get up and down. As you can see here, though, I've taken them out because it just makes it look more normal. And down here, is a lamp. Do you know that lamps can be placed on trap doors? They make fine street lamps. Which is good for this kind of car. And yeah, 
I guess thank you very much for watching. I wouldn't mind if you subscribe, that would be very nice. It's free too, so if you're a kid who doesn't have much money, this is free. It's a good investment too, because you get some really nice building tips if you go back and watch some of my old videos. Speaking of which, I will be remastering some of those so I can have better audio. And yeah. See you in the next one.